Hello and welcome to my plant tour. Before I begin, I do have a little bit of housekeeping. There won't be any more plant videos on this channel, but I will be launching a channel called She Has Plants because it's a different audience. Alexa Likes is about decluttering and simplifying beauty. Let's get into my plant tour. I like to use this utility cart from Ikea to carry supplies. Everything will be in the description box, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube. If not, leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer. I'm gonna turn these off so that we can see the plants properly. Up here, we have a propagation of a golden pothos. I think that this probably comes from... Yeah, it definitely comes from winners. It has no drainage, but... I just water it very sparingly and it has been getting so much light like look at how big this leaf is that's pretty big right and then there's this beautiful variegation so it's very happy it's doing well here this is just a jar that used to be for jam and i think my mom must have gotten this at winners too not really sure why they're cleaning the street as it's all under construction makes no sense but okay fine i've got a prop of mint in here that's probably gonna die honestly but it's in a tequila shot glass shot glasses are really good for propagations by the way this is actually a container from sour cream and you can buy the matching covers for it this is from simon's it's presently on sale for 2.99 if you go in store and it comes in lots of lovely colors it's normally 9.50 it's so nice simon's home is one of the best places to get anything this is indigo it was 24 and it went down to 11.99 it's from the brand we and it even has a drainage hole the other one doesn't by the way the ones that i have from simon's don't have drainage holes but there you have it it's so cute so stinking cute then we have my oxalis triangularis i have two of these and we used to call them our butterflies like the mariah carey butterfly albums because they look like butterflies they are both living in this dollarama pot which has drainage but it's minimal drainage now i was thinking of consolidating the two of them and putting them in a self-watering pot but for now i'm just keeping them on either side like so i believe this is the mother and this is the baby the baby started to do really well when i switched it into the same pot as the mother because hey if one is thriving in this kind of pot, then obviously. Next, I have cuttings of the Icaveria. I love the shape of this, and I'm very tempted to get more because it's one of those things. I don't need it right now, but it's just so cute. So this is $12 from Simon's, and there is no drainage. But if you use it to home a nursery pot, these guys just hang on top the rim. You basically have space for the water to collect and the uh, nursery pot isn't sitting in water, which is nice. I like to use these takeout things for propagations, depending on what kind of propagations you're doing. So say I wanted to add humidity, I could put the plastic cover on, I could even put some holes or not secure it all the way around. I ended up chopping this down because he got very long and leggy, just like these babies are. Oh well, we'll see. Next, back here, if I can reach this, Peperomia oxifolala. I don't remember. It'll be on screen. This is a baby rubber plant. It lost a lot of leaves last year and it was just leggy with a couple of leaves up on top. So I put it in a smaller pot and I'm trying to prop some leaves. I don't know. I saw this on YouTube. We'll see how it goes. This apparently takes forever to prop. So I got into plants late, guys. This is the first plant I ever bought, which was actually on June 24th, and then something happened, guys. Something unlocked in me. I keep this one also in an oversized mug. Here's another tip. Oversized mugs are really great for nursery pots if you get one of the right diameter. I purchased this at Binet, and it was $15. It has two new leaves, and I don't know where and what. Oh, I see. Maybe there will be another one this is a temporary situation um it's actually basil it's a square nursery pot and this thing i just got from simon's hopefully i can put something nicer in it sometime soon but for now mm. but it used to be 14 dollars, and i think it was on sale for eight dollars they have such good sales right now 
onto my Alex desk a Thanksgiving cactus and she blooms about twice a year for me. Um, I recently pruned her so she's got some growth and she also really likes these glazed ceramic pots from Dollarama with the slight drainage. I am very careful about this one though. I water it less than the Oxalis. I believe this is the Apuntia aka the prickly pear cactus and I'm getting a lot of nice new growth up here but the center of the stem down below was, I don't know, it was like losing its skin or getting scaly. I'm not sure what to do about that. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments. I don't water this very often because it's a cactus, obviously. Ooh, I didn't notice that before. Do you know what that is? Not really sure what that is. Oh well. It's in a glazed ceramic pot from Winners. I don't remember how much mom paid for it. She's the one who got it. But she got that when it was like this. From Canadian Tire if I'm not mistaken. Next we have the Mamilaria Espinosissima. Which is a lying down penile shaped. <laughs> um... I think, I don't remember what we nicknamed this. I think we nicknamed it Pinga, actually, which is inappropriate, but hey, it is what it is. It looks like what it looks like. We used to have this strapped onto the trellis and attempted to get it to lie straight, well, rather stand straight, um, and it has some indentations and imperfections because of it, so I'm very sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I like to just carefully stroke it sometimes because it feels prickly, kind of like hard hairs. I'm tempted to keep this outside. This is a Kalinkoe and I believe it's nicknamed Widow's Thrill, which I'm not too much of a fan of. Um, it has given me a headache a little bit. I see that it's starting to grow better. Maybe one day I can get this to bloom again. If not, well, it'll go to the trash one day because I've thrown out so many propagations of this. I'm currently doing a little bit of an experiment with it as well, seeing if I can propagate it and get it to bloom again. We'll see. It is presently living in a terracotta pot that I painted. My mom and I both painted some of these. Um, I think it's a Dollarama terracotta pot. These are more Pothos cuttings and this is from Indigo. I got this recently on sale. It's just a textured pot. I like to put my propagations in jars and then put them in a cash pot if I have one on hand just because it makes everything prettier and because i mean honestly why not i have these cash pots anyways this was also 11.99 and it's got a if you can hear a bit of a texture to it next we have my burgundy rubber plant i purchased this at canadian tire in early july for 11 dollars. so very recent purchase it's so adorable and i've been wanting one for a really long time i just have it in this plastic pot and i keep it inside of one of those dollarama pots with drainage and i don't water her too too much it's coming out with a new leaf here there's another one coming here. Quite happy with how this looks and I can't wait to get this nice and big. I want it to get big. I already sized up sparingly on this pot. Um, on my next windowsill, I have all the plants that I'm keeping in quarantine because they're new. In another mug, I have my philodendron micans and this one I'm nicknaming Noelia because my mom used to have a kid in daycare called Noelia and she said the darndest things. So those are some of my favorite stories of when my mom worked in a daycare. It also kind of reminds me of Christmas because it's got green and red. I love the texture of these velvety leaves and the crimson color. And I have cuttings running of it. It's new and it's in a bit of a rough condition. My other new plant is this one that I got from Jean Couture. It needs to get separated at some point, but right now it's brand spanking new, so I'm not doing anything. I haven't even watered it yet. It's a pink syngonium, I think. I don't know what variety it is, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's a bit rough, but if I'm not mistaken, this is the Ficus Chivariana Moonshine. So it's another Ficus Elastica. I will have to separate these guys one day, but 
one day soon actually hmm next in my bedroom i have two sans severia and they're hanging out in my west facing window this is just seriously such a robust plant it's just grown like a weed it's fantastic i love it next we have two cretons in my northwest facing window all the plants you saw earlier on the shelf are in a north facing window and it's all i got and there's a balcony on top of me so it provides shade unfortunately but it is what it is these guys have given me trouble because well now they're starting to come out variegated which is good because i think ever since i put them up here to face the light they are doing better Apparently when they're not getting enough light, they revert back to their non-variegated form, which is just green leaves. The other problem I have with them is they're very leggy right now. Apparently you can air layer them, so it might be something I try in a DIY. So you can just see he's lost so many leaves on his stem over time. Anyway, it's normal, I guess. This is the original Pothos mother plant, but I recently unraveled it and cut it down because it had a lot of naked vines that were turning yellow. The plant cover is from Simon's Home. I got it for $14.99 recently. It used to be $30. There's a lot of promotions right now if you want to go get planty things. And the pot inside is just a plastic pot that originally came with the Kalinkoe. We are next going to go through the plants that are on this stand. We have this sun-stressed pothos. Again, another propagation from the mother. I have an orchid. Ah, the bottom leaves are limp now, and even though I hydrate it, it's just, they just stay that way, but it seems to be growing new roots and aerial roots. I don't know if it'll ever bloom again. I really hope so. And then we have my Chinese money plant, which is doing nicely. This actually came from a runner from my office in the reception. Would you look at that big pepperoni? It's so cute. She gets a lot of light right here. I think I'll call that pepperoni. I never named it. First, I'll show you from the back because I gave my Monstera Deliciosa a haircut. I wanted to keep it on the same trellis for now, and then maybe I'll get a piece of wood like a plank of cedar or something to tie it its back onto because this was not is not the most stable thing it's a bamboo trellis from dollarama i cut three of the bottom leaves yesterday because one was turning yellow and then they were just kind of in the way of the pot while i was repotting they were getting smushed and looking old so i figured you know what honestly I want to give this new leaf the best shot, so I decided, you know what, I'll cut off those other three leaves. Look at that though, isn't she adorable? She's making a new bibbe. This was the mother leaf for that new leaf that's coming out, and it's huge. And hopefully this new baby leaf will give me a new leaf from right here in the upcoming months. Here she is from the front, so you get an idea of what she looks like. Isn't she gorgeous? She came from a cutting in 2020 when restaurants were closing and they just threw out some Monstera and my mom went with the scissors and grabbed the cutting from the trash. So my aunt calls her La Dotada, as in the adopted, so she is our little adopted doter. This is the latest in my collection. It is a Hoya Carnosa tricolor, and I have it separate from the rest of my collection because it's brand spanking new. We'll see how it goes. I'm, I think I'm bad with succulents, and apparently these behave like succulents a little bit in terms of watering and soil preference. Feel free to correct me on that but I figured I might as well practice some more. Well then, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Check out the video linked on the screen. Bye. I I'm gonna be very ambitious right now and try something on my own. <sighs> my God, pray for me. <laughs>